Could you imagine me dating a 45 year old woman? <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Welcome back. What's going on, guys? Filming another fucking podcast without uploading the last one that we filmed. How's that feel? <laughs> Whose fault is that? I don't think anyone's at fault. It's I just, am so lazy. It's just, it's just <laughs> such a reoccurring theme where we film a podcast, then don't upload it, and say, hey, let's film another one, and then just not upload the second one. It's just a fucking spiraling, like... <laughs> We've uploaded three podcasts. We've filmed at least 12. When was the last podcast? I think you told me the other day. Five months ago. Five fucking months ago. <laughs> and people love these, which, which sucks. Like, you'd think we'd have an excuse not to post them. But people were like, oh, this, this shit's cool. Like, you guys are funny. And, and we're just like, nah, we're just not gonna, we're just not gonna, like, why? why? What's wrong with us? I think what happened, we went in a downward spiral where we lost those ones yeah. and then the quarantine hit and then we were just like yeah. giving up on life. That, with that these hurt. Podcasts. We had like two or three really heavy hitters and they just, they got lost in the archives. <laughs> FBI wiped our hard, our, our hard drives. Somebody our, didn't want us to upload those. Yeah. So that was whack. But anyway, we, we, uh, we're back at it. This is podcast number two after being back from five months. Sorry about that, by the way. We're fuckheads, we know. <laughs> but yeah, it's, today's Cinco de Mayo. That's why we're sipping on some Marks. First and foremost, cheers. Bing. And uh, we're, pumped to, we're pumped to get back on the podcast scene. Uh, what, what's been going on the past four days? I just, I just wanted to go say, like, happy Cinco de Mayo in Spanish, and I couldn't figure out what it was. Uh, what is it? F uh, Feliz Cinco. Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, okay. I, I almost just said Feliz Cumpleaños or something. <laughs> <laughs> Feliz, Feliz, Cumpleaños. Feliz Cumpleaños, guys. It's been a long day. <laughs> we've, uh, we've been fishing very hard. It's like, been a long is, past three days. Or two been, days. No, we're past two weeks, three honestly. Days. Yeah, four, or yeah, a week. Because we, we started off with Guggen Week. And we came back, when we came back from Guggen Week, filming like, what was that, four days in Oklahoma, we came back to Dallas. And you and I were like, hey, let's fucking ruin our bodies, wake up really early, drink a shit ton of beer, and go fishing. And that's what we did. And that's what we did. And we're still drinking, but just not beer. We're drinking, what is this? Tequila. This is tequila margarita in uh, celebration of yeah. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is... Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. <laughs> we were going to go out uh, to the bars, but we couldn't. Uh, I can't. We're still closed. Yeah, some restaurants are open here in Dallas. Or I guess not Dallas, like in, what is that? Uh, Denton, County. Denton County. Some restaurants are open, but they're like minimum capacity, so they can only fill up like 25%. So like you'll be in a restaurant, and it'll be technically be full, even though there's like a shit ton of tables open, which is weird. Yeah. So it's weird. It's kind of nice, honestly. I dig it. I feel like there's enough talk about this. We need to uh, get oh, okay. right into Sorry, some dude. Of these Sorry, I know you got, a lot, you got a lot you want to talk about. Sorry, <laughs> I, didn't mean to, I didn't mean to bore you. Um, what, what, so let me hear some of your topics. What do you got? <sighs> Yeah, this is my fucking thought. Here, let me let me handle this. Just wait for the awkward silence. This. Fucking buddy over here is a vegetable practically. I, I do. What does that mean? Oh, you're just just kind of useless. Just useless. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean serious. What did you want to talk about? You. you what, what do you have? Do you have anything? I was gonna talk about the last podcast because I was editing okay. it, and I noticed. Still my, editing it. By still the way. editing it. Yeah. yeah, not done. It's a long guys. It's like a Steven Spielberg. <laughs> fucking George Lucas type motion picture. It takes a few months to get these podcasts out, at least for him. So the amount of hand movements by me in the last one is just uh -huh. ridiculous. Man. Yeah, it's ridiculous, and the amount of times you say like is ridiculous as well. But I'm not gonna say it. No, we watched a Cody Co podcast after we filmed the last one, and, and then we were the editing. whole the whole <laughs> topic on the Cody Co podcast was how many times they say like and how they overuse it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's so fucked up. Like, they're idiots. They overuse like. And then we went and watched ours, and I said like a shit ton. <laughs> it's hard not and to I say it. And, and, and I thought to myself, wow, I also use it a ton. Yeah. So I'm going to try to. It's not that it, it fucking matters. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> it's, it's just a word. But it does, it does sound stupid. Like, it does sound dumb. It sounds, it sounds unintelligent. You don't In notice it until you, like, try and. Nice. Point it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you don't notice it until you watch. Well, it, it's it's similar to um. It's like um. Like yeah. you don't realize. You don't want to say um and like. Yeah. If you want to be smart. But like is the new um. True. Like is the millennial um. But we're too sophisticated for that. Right. 
Right. Beatles. Okay, bring these topics up. You did some. Boom. Music. You want some topics? This is like the old days when I would come prepared with topics, and I I just start rapid fire with Peric. Most of them, are, most of these are uh, kind of all over the place. One of which we were talking about this on the boat today because we went. We just got off the water uh, probably I guess four or five hours ago. It was a great day fishing. Caught fuck all. But um, <laughs> one thing we were talking about was uh, how insane TikToks have gotten. Just like I don't think we can really go in depth with some of the level of insanity TikToks. Like I, I, it's hard to explain. How would you put it? There's just no fucking chill with TikToks. No, no. It, so many different social media apps like Instagram. There's a high level of filter. Facebook. There's a filter. TikTok claims to have a filter, but I see some shit on TikTok and I'm just like, what? And, and it's not that you just raunchy see it. humor like. Very raunchy humor. It also has a hundred thousand likes and five million. Views. So everyone is on the same page, right? Yes. It, it, it's 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 not uh, an instance where the, the the really raunchy humor TikTok has five hundred likes or hundred likes. People are all about it. They're like, yeah, this this shit's good. I mean, I I can't even use an example really. I know the one that we were sucks. talking about the boat was so bad. I don't, I can't even repeat it. I looked at Peric and I was like, yo, have have you seen the TikTok where the kids like, and he's like, yeah, I've seen it. And it's, it's just so, it's so crazy. But TikTok claims to do a good job of filtering out swear word, like people swearing. Even, but then you see that shit. It's like, how does that even how does up that there? slip? And how is it up there that long? Like it's still up there. Yeah. It's just raking in the likes and the views. But I also do think we were kind of talking about this on that same topic. I just, I, one, one point is I think TikTok is, is like YouTube maybe four or five years ago, where you could do anything on YouTube. Yeah. You could post, like, hate speeches, but now YouTube is like, I'm not saying you should do that, it's fucked. But <laughs> <laughs> YouTube has really cracked down on that, whereas TikTok, it's almost, like, still slipping through the cracks. But there's also funny stuff. Like, what we were saying yeah, it's, is, like... It's, it's humorous. You just have to have a very dark sense of humor. Which to I, I definitely have. I do, too. So that's why it's so I don't so take funny. shit seriously. <laughs> Unless it's, like, you know, some guy making fun of people who own wiener dogs, and I take offense to it. <laughs> Or some people with fucked up haircuts, and I'm just like, yo, that's, you know, fall back, chill out. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, uh, the other thing too, so I, I don't want to get too deep into that, but I was, uh, when I came, when we came back home from fishing, I watched that. Yeah, speaking of fucked up, yo, you look like your name should be Henry. Fucking dude, when it, when are the barber shops gonna open? This is getting bad. I don't know. We should just cut our, we should just cut each other's hair on the next, we should. Yeah. Just fuck my shit up, dog. It can't get any worse than this. Hey. If this video hits 5,000 likes, will you let me cut your hair? I, I won't You got to edit and post it first. True. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if this video is up right now and it has 5,000 likes, I will cut John V's hair, but I'll do it legit. I'll, like, actually try. You know what that means? Like, I'll, I'll, I'll spice you up. I'll do give you I good, know what that means? I'll give you a good haircut. Oh, uh, okay. You know your barber? He ain't as good as me. Trust me. Okay. Okay. I'm sure he's a lot better. 5,000 likes. Make it happen. Cosmopolitan. Like, okay. Um... <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, sure. Five thousand likes. <laughs> Fuck me. There goes my hair. What, what do I get to cut your hair then, or what? I just made that, so me and the audience are connected. I don't know what about you and and your thoughts on the matter, but I just five thousand and one likes, and I get to cut your hair. <laughs> Keep it at five thousand. Deal. 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 Um, but no TikTok. We were saying just about that. It's you guys know, and, and comment below if you guys know what we're talking about. Where it's just insane. The Most of it's pretty is, PG. And kind of fucking cringy to be honest, like almost two PG. But then you just it does like a one eighty, and it's just like, oh, hang on, what? Do you feel like you can't watch TikToks in public sometimes? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Mainly because, and this is I mean, I, this is a dilemma for a lot of people. I think I, think I know what you're saying. Especially say. males over the age of twenty. <laughs> yeah. A lot of the TikToks that are out there of like are like 15, 16 year old girls like twerking their ass. It's like. Okay, let's just keep going. Like, I'm just waiting for Chris Hansen to break down the fucking door and just be like, Jesus Christ. Like, I, I, I'm, I scrolled past it. I just, relax. It's fucking uncomfortable because it, it's, I, th I feel like there's, there's very uh, specific regions of TikTok and they're all very different. You've yes. got dark humor, uh, underage girls twerking without their parents at home. It's fuck, it's messed up. And then you've got, um, I feel like there's a lot of like country TikToks, or maybe that's just showing up on my feed because I, I like You're fishing into stuff. You're country stuff. No, no, no. Get, my for you page is a bunch of like um, square dancing and shit. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's it's just me. I, I guess I don't know. 
We um, should. Uh, I know we don't want to do it today because of the editing nightmare, but we should go. We should honestly go through like fifteen videos on our on phones TikTok. for a, a, a podcast. That'd fifteen be of idea. our videos are on. No, just on our for you pages, just to see oh, how they differ. Oh yeah, because we pick up or our liked. I like my liked ones are hilarious. <laughs> Oh, I don't like anything on there. So that's, oh, you don't? You no. don't save them? I, oh, I always do. Them. I, I save them, then I go back like a month later and I watch them. And uh, it just gives me We've really got to do this. Laugh. We talked about this. We'll do it on another, another one because we don't yeah. want to do it There's also a strong vi- Vine. I know this is cliche. There's strong Vine vibes in TikTok. And yeah. that's what I meant. That's what I like about TikTok is it's it's like the funniest. <laughs> so random shit. Most random shit. What was the one I showed you the other day where it was... Uh, the chick biting into the um, the muscle or the gooey duck. It's like a clam. She's like biting into a clam and she bites into it and it like squirts everywhere and then it cuts to a scene of a guy just getting blasted in the face. I don't know. You've probably seen it. Maybe not. But um, anyway, that leads me to point. I've seen, I saw this um, TikTok where... Your background is hilarious. What? On your phone. Oh, it's Matt lighting up, lighting up a, a dart. <laughs> Sparking a dart. Can't probably put that in the, in the podcast. But... um. Uh, for this to have the effect, I just got to show it to you. Watch this. Oh, fuck it. Hang on, watch this. What's your last TikTok? Oh, it's Mike. He's drunk. Have you seen this? No. <laughs> this shit is hilarious. <laughs> How many views does that have? Uh, 426. <laughs> it's got a lot of views. That's what I love about TikTok too, is you can post the absolute dumbest shit. Yeah. And it gets no views. It, or it gets a ton of views. Yeah, nobody cares. Um uh, you know what? I might not have saved it. Oh fuck. There's so much good anyway, stuff on TikTok. It was this TikTok where basically two airplanes collide, two prop planes collide. Real life. Okay. There were, like people wearing GoPros are skydiving and, and the fucking plane collides and everyone jumps out and everybody lives. And it's the most insane thing. I'm like, how have I never seen this before? But I never would have seen it if I was on, wasn't on TikTok. Yeah. Have you ever seen this? No. No it's, idea. It's crazier than I'm, than I'm explaining it. I'm doing a very bad job of explaining the hype. But just basically go on YouTube and look up two planes collide. Everyone lives. And they just... Like the, it hits and then Both, they jump so out. So there's a plane up up top of the other, and one guy was hanging off the wing, and I think it pulled the other plane down. And they just they go like this, and you see the guy jump out. And he jumps out of the plane. He's looking up, and the whole plane explodes. I feel like we need to look this up right now. Look it up. Look up two planes explode. It is fu- so. There's like five people wearing GoPros, so it, it jumps from different angle to angle. Everybody lives. Yeah, that's it. It's absurd. If you guys have seen this, drop a comment. It's absolutely. You ever seen this? No. What happened? So you, you can see in a different clip. Keep, keep, keep going. No, no, no. It'll show you later on. Keep going. All right there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So this guy's hanging on the wing, and I think it pulls. Like, I don't know why he's hanging on the. What is going on? I don't know. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best view of it. Oh, my. Buddy gets yeeted. Yeeted. They get yeeted out of the plane. But they were, they were skydiving, so they, are, they all had parachutes. And I guess the pilot is required to wear a parachute as well. That's good. Yeah, so everyone lived. <laughs> Insanity. Yeah. That's so that showed, up as, that showed awesome. up as a TikTok, and I was like, that can't be real. No. So I, I, I was in disbelief, and then I looked it up on YouTube, and, um, and I came to the conclusion that shit was very fucking real. That's crazy. You ever been skydiving? Fuck no, and that just reaffirms the chances of me never doing it. I did it once. It's the scariest thing I ever did. I thought I was going to just... It's not, New Zealand? Yeah. No. I just don't really know why I did it to this day, but glad I did. You know, it's kind of like... You attached to someone, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those topics that when you're at a bar, you're just like, yeah, I want to skydive. Yeah, but then you show the picture to them, and, and you're just like... And you're, and you're, you're attached to some, you're attached big, to some, some big, big guy. Some big six-foot... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not as cool. Uh, not as fucking cool. Um, I, I love TikTok, though, in the fact that, like, you ever want to just waste 10 minutes of your life 
It's like, okay. Oh, dude, I spent hours on TikTok before I go to bed. I know. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to bed, going to my bedroom, brush my teeth, lay down, tuck myself in. And I'm like, yeah, let's watch a few TikToks. A few turns into like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Yeah, and like 30 minutes goes by, an hour goes by. You're like, what just happened? I'm a, I, I'm a, I don't want to say I'm addicted because I don't watch it every day, but like it is a nighttime ritual for sure. Yeah, crazy. Which is weird. Why? It's just stupid shit. <sighs> Sometimes I think it's funny in my head, but I don't actually laugh out loud. It's <laughs> so weird, you know? In my head, I'm like, that's so funny. And I'm just like this. <laughs> just like no expression. No expression. Yeah, it's so strange. Um, oh, here, I have a good question for you. Yeah. Uh, personally, just wondering, what's it like to be an active user in Bumble? That was one that I wrote <laughs> down. <laughs> Is that what you're using nowadays? Bumble? I have two, I have two dating apps on my phone. Honestly... Farmers Only and Bumble. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Farm- no, Hinge and Bumble. <sighs> Why are we talking about this on the podcast? Well, because you didn't come up with any topics, so I had to come in hot. <sighs> okay. We'll talk about it. I suck at online dating. We'll <laughs> just put it out there. I don't really use it. I just like, like to swipe. You should try out eHarmony. Have you heard of eHarmony? I haven't, I haven't used that one yet. <laughs> I could try it out. I think that's only for people on laptops. Like 30 <laughs> and above eHarmony. <laughs> I don't know if it's still around. <laughs> I remember that yeah, I used to get commercials for eHarmony mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. No, online dating not really working out for me. It's, just, it's not online dating. It's it, what it is. It's it's a it's a gateway. It's 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 the first step. Online dating, I feel like, is you're dating online. You're long distance. Yeah. If these people are like twenty miles away, fifty miles away, like in, yeah, five. How long is your radius? Do you do like hundred miles? No, it's pretty. It's like twenty miles. I feel like maybe you would have a better chance of finding the soulmate if you maybe expanded that region. Maybe dipped into that Louisiana demographic. Oklahoma. Just a thought. Southern Oklahoma. Okay. Might find your next wife in Southern Oklahoma. Let me, let me uh, expand my horizons here to Oklahoma. Also on that same thought, I don't know what your age uh, uh, specifications are on that app, but maybe, you know, it's like this. Maybe just find... I'm just trying to help. I'm giving you tips right now. Yeah. I, These are suggestions. I, I appreciate your tips, but I'd like to keep my personal dating life. Maybe 20, on 20 the to app. 25. Maybe, that's, uh, that's maybe, my... maybe 20 to 45. Maybe bump it up. Could you imagine me dating a 45 year old woman? No, but. Just imagine that. Picture no, that in your head right now. There's a lot of things I don't imagine you doing, but you end up doing it. So. Imagine me and a 45 year old woman going out to eat dinner. What would we talk about? Um. Stocks, right? You're into stocks. <laughs> that's a daily conversation with John and I. We just like randomly bought that's some our, stocks. That's our new thing. Yeah. <laughs> we're just like, how's the stocks doing? We, we act like we're fucking daily Wall Street goers. <laughs> we're, we look like, or we act like we're uh, Leonardo DiCaprio from uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. We're like, we up. <laughs> Can you imagine being one of those guys though? Every, every day you wake up and you put on your suit and you go to grab coffee. And the first thing you say to your buddy is like, check the market. <laughs> yeah, I was down today. Fucking, I know, right? Bullshit. I just sold. I fucking sold everything. <laughs> like, imagine that. That was that's your life. And then you fell asleep, and you woke up the next day, and you're like, "Oh, it's back up. We're good." The stocks are so weird. It doesn't make any. I don't sense want to either. talk about this, but it it is so. It doesn't fucking make any sense, and I don't think anyone understands it. I think it's a lot of bullshit. <laughs> yes. And I think I you agree. can make a shit ton of money off it, but I also think you can lose a shit ton of money on it. I also think if you make a lot of money on it, the old government comes by and says they want fifty percent of your cut. You know, you always like on well, capital. Everything is any, any money ca- you are on capital gains like that on stocks. The taxes are just. I don't, I don't know if I'm speaking out of my ass right now or what, but like, yeah. we should probably get off this topic because we are not stock experts. No, definitely not. Cut to the chase. Every single morning, John and I look at each other. We go, "How's that the stocks?" stocks? Yeah. <laughs> well, no. The other day, would you say you texted you texted our our manager Matt? You're like, yo, what's the stocks doing today? Matt's like, it's a Sunday, man. <laughs> <laughs> I did do Mark's that. Mark's not open. <laughs> yo, what are the stocks doing today? Uh, well, nothing right now because it's fucking closed. <laughs> oh, I did do that. Yeah, we're just so gun ho about stocks. Okay, cool. So you gave me a half ass answer on what's it like to be an active user on Bumble. But what, I mean, that's cool. What's it like? What's though? it like? Okay, here. Give here me a quick you. synopsis. Summarize it. It's great. Um, is it though you just said you had a hard time no. dating? No, okay. I think like probably ninety percent of the accounts are fake and awful. I'm just I don't I don't know what to say to random people. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? That's a good start. You're onto something there. I've I've used hey. how's it going before. Hey, how are you? How are you? And I'm she, good. And then she, and then, then, then better yet, she hits you back and she's like, "I'm great, thank you." 
How are you? Then here's your follow-up plan after that. Also good. We should go um, fishing sometime. Or you should come over to my apartment that doesn't have any furniture. <laughs> we can Wait. sleep on my... Hey, how's it going? Good. Thanks. How are you? Hey, you should come over to my apartment. Um, no thanks. No thank you. Yeah, no, you don't ever I have to... a boyfriend. <laughs> Fuck you, scumbag. <laughs> Wait, why are you on this app? That's exactly how it goes. Hey, we, should we talk about the personal best? Or... I don't know what... Are you going to think you're going to get this up before that video or after that Here's video? Here's what we'll say. I caught my personal best with John two days ago. You did. And it was unreal. That's all we're going to say. It was unreal. Other than the personal bus, it was just an unreal day. We caught 34 pounds, 10 ounces uh -huh. of bass in one day. We're going to go try to do it again tomorrow. We tried to do it today. We, 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 so two, three days ago, we caught 25, 24 pounds, 8 ounces. Then yesterday, we caught 35 or 34 pounds, 10 ounces. Then today, we caught... Honestly, we probably caught close to 10 pounds. Yeah, probably. Not terrible. Uh... Cut that like that one was like three. Yours? Yeah, you caught a two, and then a bunch of one halves. Probably caught like eight pounds. Yeah, eight pounds, maybe seven. So we had a really good day. In other words, tomorrow's redemption. Cold wind. Tomorrow's not cold. Or I mean, no wind. No wind. No wind. Yeah, today today was cold. So we had two days of south wind, and then Just today was today. My north. head hurts thinking about it. Yeah, and that's why we're drinking tequila right now yeah. because the wind fucked us. Right up the butt. Um, what else do I have for you? There's another question I want to ask you. Um, oh, dude. Funny thing is, I so... Just, I just laugh before your questions because I know they're just like... <laughs> so, Perrigan and I have been fishing a lot in the past few days. So, he's since he's been back in Florida, we've just been trying to get out in the water. The whole goal for me and I think you as well is we're looking for a 10-pounder. Right now is pretty much our last chance, you know. Come, come summer, you have a really good chance of catching a giant fish. All that aside, spring is the best in my opinion. But anyway, we've been fishing a shit ton, and the lakes have been fucking busy because of COVID. Everyone's off work, and they're just like, yeah, I'm going to take my fucking ranger out there and just brrr around and just fucking fish all the cuts that I want to fish. I don't know. It's just so packed. Everywhere it's, I feel like I seem to go, people are fishing everywhere. If there's one boat on the lake, John gets pissed off, starts <laughs> swearing, and goes, why is this person out here? Doesn't he have I a just job? Hate, I hate, I hate like, feeling clustered because I go out on the lake to have like me time. You know, just like I want to relax. I don't want to fucking see anyone. There's a guy 5,000 yards away at That's a different point. True. Yes. I get pissed when people are like, <laughs> when I get pissed when I go to fish up, like I'm going towards a point, and then the guy also goes to the point. I'm just like, Really, fucker? Like, I just, I'm just, you know, it's not his fault, really, but I just, I get pissed. Anyway, we've been fishing a shit ton, we've been seeing a ton of people in the water, and one thing Perrick and I have been getting, like, mutually pissed off about is when we'll pass a boat, we'll, we'll go like this, we'll wave at them. You know, eight times out of ten, they'll wave back, but when they don't wave back, they're fucking pieces of shit. We if you don't wave, if that. you don't fuck it, if you see somebody waving at you, and you don't fucking wave back, you're a piece of shit. If something's wrong with you, you're probably fucking a serial killer or something. I'd say eight. I don't understand. I feel like so many times, I feel like I've looked people dead in the eye and gone like this, and, and they don't, they just, they look right at you and they don't fucking do anything. It's like, why did I even do, make all that effort to raise my hand and wave at you? I mean, nice and courteous. And you know, this is like scenarios where we're like going, we're, we're going like this. We're going, I'm, he's going in, I'm going out. How's it going? <laughs> 80, just looking 80, at me. Just, 80% 80 of the time they don't see you. But there's that 20% where you look that guy right in the fucking eye. Oh, yeah. He's got no go, sunglasses on. No. You know, yeah. And you go. Yeah. And he just goes. Yeah. Keeps driving. You know what I do too? I'll, I'll do it again. Throw up the hand. Doesn't see it. Go like real high. <sighs> that, that wasn't high enough. Cunt, I'll fucking move both my hands. Just wave back at me. I don't know. It just pisses me off. And I don't, and honestly, to, to their defense, I don't know why I'm waving at them. I don't fucking know them. I don't probably like them. They're fishing the creek that I want to... Like, I don't fucking get it. I don't know why I'm waving, but it's just... It's, it's natural. It's just, you know, two boats on the water, both fishing, you wave. You better fucking wave back. Otherwise, I'm going to spite you for the rest of the day. And we get so mad. We just, as soon as we pass that guy... I love how we're wave. both pissed, yeah, too. Yeah, we're just like... The fuck was that guy's problem? The best, the best is when we wave and the guy waves back and he's like, "Yeah, you better fucking wave back. You better wave back." <laughs> like, like we're holding it against them or something. Like, yeah, that's right, bitch. <laughs> that is the funniest. We got Also, when we're driving too, we're starting to do it too. Just like on a country road, we'll just be like, "Yeah." 
<laughs> I did it today to some chick and she was like, what? She like looked at me like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'll be driving down a dirt road. Anytime you're on a dirt road and you pass someone, you always got to throw up like the two fingers on the steering wheel. Just like, How's it going? How to do it? You know what we also wave to? The construction workers that are like flying oh, at people. All the time. Always wave to construction workers. There's like, it's so funny how it feels natural to wave at people in certain scenarios. I think we, we peeled off a few good ones. Construction workers, if you're down a dirt road outside of city limits, throw up two fingers on the steering wheel. You're probably going to get a wave back. PK, that's where I really learned to get the wave down. And you got to time it right, too. You don't want to do it too early because you look like a fucking weirdo. Yeah. You got to do it at the same time. Like, it's probably when you guys are like, you're, you're, four, you're both, both, uh, both cars are like 40, 40 yards away from each other. You just throw, throw up the hands. Smooth, but if you're going like fucking like a dweeb, but like going like this in the car, it doesn't look good. In the boat, it's like a quick. Whew. On the steering wheel, it's almost like a. On the car, you, you mean? Hold, yeah, you're holding the wheel yeah. and you're like. Yeah, exactly. Kind of yeah. like that deal. Yeah. Kind of like that deal. Yeah, but the listeners don't know what you're doing. Just yeah. do it in the mic, just like. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Crest the mic. Um, speaking of their boat habits too, I mean, I feel like I've been living more off of my fucking boat than I have my. In my house. Dude, it's, um, we didn't even talk about this. We said we started in Oklahoma. We went out west. Then we went to Amistad. Oh, fuck me. Then we went to OH. Um, which, by the way, Amistad's on the border of Mexico and Texas. In then case we went to wondering. OH. Then we took one day break. Then we went up to Oklahoma for three days. Is that one day we took a break? Yeah, it's just one day. Fuck me. Then we came back and we've been fishing the secret juice hole for four days now. Or today, tomorrow will mark four days. Secret juice hole. I like the name of that lake. <laughs> Let's just keep it the name. Just we. I don't care. You say it. I don't want to say it because I. Oh, just... I don't want to say it either. Are you fucking kidding me? The 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 thing with that lake is it just can't take the pressure. And I'm pretty chill about telling people where I fish, but this is just a scenario. I'm just like, I just want I just want my little spot. It, it, it goes back to me just getting pissed when I see other people fishing the same point. I'm just like, kind of just I just kind of want to have this for a minute. You know, let me just have it. You know. Yeah. Um. But anyway. The other, thing, the other, speaking of boat habits, one thing that we've been getting way too used to is, uh, and I know you guys probably don't want to hear this, is we've been taking shits uh, very consistently off the boat, and it's gotten to be basically a ritual where it's like, you know, when, you know, like if you're on a boat with someone, you're like, you, know, you give this like fierce look to them, like, hey man, I, I gotta go, like, it, oh, I understand, like we'll go pull over to the bank or something, or you know, we'll go back to the marina and you can go to the bathroom. It's gotten to the point now where I'll be at the front of the boat. I'm like, yeah, I got a shit. <laughs> Perry takes the motor. I just go in the back of the boat as we're moving and just whee -oop, take my pants down and just drop a few few nugs, wipe, and then get back to fishing. Like, it's it's too chill. It's almost as chill as, like, taking a pee off the boat. What's bullshit about this is I never used to do this. And Same. I, this year's I, been so different. I remember when I was, like, 17, fishing one of the opens. Oh, that's potent. And I was, yeah, that's, that looks strong. You that need some good. ice? Like, just. Yeah, I'll probably hang on. Okay. Keep going with that story. I'll go with that story. You go, you go along there. But So I was fishing the open, like, a big tournament. And I, had, I was a co-angler. And some guy, we were fishing in, like, a school. This was on, like, Oneida. So there's, like, 20 boats around us. We're fishing this school of smallmouth. This guy just goes, drops. He just like, I got to take a shit. I'm like, okay. Like, Wait, were you on his boat? Yes. Oh, okay. I was like, okay, like, let's go to shore. Like, I don't know what to say to you. Like, this yeah. guy's 40 years old. He goes to the back of the boat. Meanwhile, I can't go above, like, in the opens, you can't go above the council. So I'm like... Oh, so you're in the back of the wall. You're, like, sitting next to him. <laughs> He's just holding out of the back of his boat, <laughs> squats down, and takes a crap in the middle of this school of people. <laughs> and it smelled so Wait, bad. Why did it smell? Because it's in the water, though. Dude, this guy just had something coming something out of his Something going butt. on. Like, he yeah. had the go. He had the, the go. But anyways, I've never taken a poop off the back of the boat. And the past three days... Do you understand it now? Do you understand where he was coming from? Yeah, it's just so inconvenient. Inconvenient? No, convenient. Oh, I think so as Instead well. Instead of, like, going to shore. John won't let me go to shore when I have no. to take a poop. So I've mastered the way of squatting. He doesn't you hold have on to the, You hold on to the outboard. And you put one hand on the gunnel. And you just kind of get this... You get in the right balance. And it's just like... Serenity. The only part, part there's is nothing. There's nothing greater than just finding that perfect balance with pooping in nature and the water. The problem is you have to also pee when you poop, so you got to be careful you do. of all this. Here's what you do. Actually, that's what you do with your other hand. You yeah. Tuck. Yeah. The tuck. You that's tuck. What yeah. One's on the. Motor. I've gotten pretty good where I've just like I kind of just I'll just kind of I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's it's like an art. It's like yoga. 
Shitting on a boat is like yoga. I feel like this could be our next video. Yeah. But anyway, the funny thing is le <laughs> leading on to this is I didn't, I never, never, ever took poops on the boat. Like I can hold it, you know, I'll take a pee on the boat, whatever, but usually hold it by the time I'm done fishing. But ever since I came back from Sudan, I've, I got so sick. Yeah. And every single day, <laughs> so like from March 3rd to like probably April 3rd for a month, I would just like, Explosive my, diarrhea. Yeah, my stomach, everything. My stomach would hurt. My head would hurt. Everything would just get fucked up. And I think I just got too used to it. Then now, like when I'm just like, yeah, I kind of, I guess I got to poop. I just like using an excuse to just go in the back. <laughs> um, what uh, what were you diagnosed with? Like, I don't know. They gave you some medicine. They right? never. I I did I did blood work. I did stool sample. They couldn't find anything. I don't just know. Just ate something weird. Probably probably had some sort of weird virus. I'm fine. I mean, I'm, it took, but it took. What's so weird is it took like a month to get over. Every, every day at like 7 p.m., I'd have this crazy headache. I'd get a fever. I'd fall asleep. I'd wake up. I'd feel fine. I'd shit my brains out, and I'd fish all day. And then at 7, I would feel like crap. But, yeah, don't, just don't go to Sudan. I mean, that's... How's, how are your international <laughs> trips? Like, you told me the other day you're done. I'm done for a while. That Sudan ran train on me. It was 14 days. That's yeah. a long fucking time to be away. It's just like, I love it, and I love exploring, but it just beats you down. Just beats you down. Well, I think there's a limit. You have to have a you have to have a, a time frame. So with the Sudan trip, I think it was too long. I would do that again if it was eight days, but fourteen days. And here's the problem is the tail of the trip was just <laughs> yeah, what? fucking wind, dude. It was it was it was like the lake we fished today, but times a hundred. Yeah, you're just, in the ocean. And it's you're expected to do fly fishing and top water fishing and that and it just ain't it. Do you want to get into kind of the end of Sudan on why it was kind of just weird or not really? Nah. nah. Just leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> it was just weird. <laughs> Would you ever go back to Sudan? No. I'd no. go back to Africa, though. I don't think I've ever heard you say you wouldn't go back somewhere, so that's interesting. That I wouldn't go back? Yeah. You've never said you wouldn't go back to, like, it, it, it Bali just, or anywhere else we've gone. Mm, mm. Just Sudan ain't it. Sudan just isn't it. Here's what's cool about Bali is it's very westernized. Yeah. You can feel comfortable. That place we stayed in, uh, what's a, what was that called? Uh, that, that hotel. Komodo? What was that hotel? No, it was in Bali. Oh, which one? I forget. There's no way I'll remember. The nice one? The nice one with the pool. Yeah, yeah. This is great. <laughs> but here's the thing. You can rough it. <laughs> the and, nice one with the pool. <laughs> That's great. I don't know. Well, even Komodo was nice. Komodo oh. is a very like remote island, and we stayed at a, an amazing place. Yeah. And it was fairly cheap. Yeah. That's what I like about that. Sudan is like, you're rough in it, and the risk doesn't, doesn't meet the reward, you know? Yeah. If I'm going to risk it, and if I'm going to fucking sleep in a cot and get bit by mosquitoes, and just which we weren't, by the way, on Sudan, but if I'm going to just take the shit and be sick, I want to have an amazing trip and catch good fish, and the weather needs to be nice, but it just it wasn't it. Yeah. But it was, I don't want to downplay the trip. It was a cool trip. It was amazing. I, I will never forget it. Videos very good. Yeah, videos came out good, but it didn't need to be 14 days. And even Alex, my videographer and editor, he was like, I mean, he was like, at some point, I just didn't know what to film because we're doing the same thing every <laughs> single goddamn day. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I fucking feel you on that. Like, how many, how many popping videos can we film? How many fly yeah. fishing for trigger fish videos can we film? And the answer is like four, and then that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's the cool part about bass fishing is it's always different. Like, there's always different ways to catch them. You're always yeah. learning. Like, you can go to different lakes, you know? Saltwater fishing does get kind of old i guess in a sense yeah i don't know it's just different. I, think, I think that's well i think that's why the inshore fishing is cool you can switch it up with snook you can go do yeah. live bait you can do top water you can run swim baits redfish you can go in the marsh you can go offshore true 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 where it gets old is like marlin uh there's trolling snapper dropping rigs you know yeah it, it's 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 one way or the it's 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 that way or the highway yeah you're not gonna fucking catch them any other way but redfish you can get versatile you can throw top water you can you do a lot which, by the way, we need to. We were thinking about doing a redfish trip. Might Is that to, the plan? Might have to figure that out. Bryant would go. Me, you, Bryant. Yeah. His boat. He's got a sick boat for that. It's only got twenty five though. Yeah, that would be cool. Honestly, your boat would be perfect. My boat? Yeah, but your boat fucking the jet? sucks. Yeah, your boat fucking sucks. <laughs> what know. happened with your boat, Alex? That'd be a good topic, real quick. I don't. I don't want to talk about it much, other than the fact that I. I think that I need to figure something out with either. The way the motor's mounted, 
I think something's it's, I think missing. It's a, I think it's a or it's underpowered. I think it's underpowered. I think it's a motor that doesn't. I don't. A 16 foot John boat with a 40 horse jet, even with a 25, a 16 or, foot boat. Or here's this. I think it's maybe overpowered. The motor's too heavy. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense. 16 horse. The other thing about a six. Think about think about a 16 foot bare bones aluminum John boat. You could pick that up. Yeah. You could literally pick that up. And then you put a 40 horse jet on the back that what weighs like 400, 500 pounds? Probably. That seems, un- that seems almost overpowered. <sighs> it sits so well in the wall. I don't know. I don't want to talk about it because I don't know yet. I don't want to jump to conclusions. The are you boat- going to come? Are you going to figure something out or no? Well, with the boat? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to play around with it and hopefully work it out. I haven't made a video about this boat. Just bring it into a shop or something. And be like, yo, what's wrong with this? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could. could, Honestly, I should just drop it off of fun and sun this week. You should. I should. What do you think? Do you have anything you want to talk about before we wrap this one up, Al? um, I mean, this doesn't even really matter because we're not ever going to edit this one. We're probably (laughs) never going to post it. This is just us. Well, how does it feel to talking to? It's ta- just us talking, talking to like, an empty audience right now. We pretty much pretend like we do this, and we just never hit the upload button. It's yeah. good though. It's good though. It's just good to talk to you. It's, it's like a. It's like you know what it is. It's like a. It's like a twelve-year-old in his room filming his, his uh, his Fortnite uh, let's play. Yes. No one's ever gonna fucking watch it, but he's giving it his all at least. We gave it our all in this podcast. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and cheers to Cinco de Mayo. Please cool me on, goes cunt. <laughs> And we'll catch you guys in the next episode of Chirped. Bitches. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thanks for Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks for watching. Hell yeah. Oh, there's a girl in the chat. Hell yeah.